I was freelancing at that time. I was doing uh, photography and videography. And it reached a point where I wasn't able to hold the camera properly and I wasn't able to step out of the house. So it really hindered my, my ability to do uh, the things that I like. Uh, when I first developed Tourette's, it was quite mild. Um, but unfortunately, when I reached the age of 16, it got a lot worse. Over, over the years, I seek like, numerous, numerous forms of treatment from the conventional medication to alternative treatment. Um, I've also gone for like, uh, like CBT, Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. Yeah, and uh, I think those, those help to a certain extent, but the effect was, was quite marginal. I applied for university and I, I really wanted to further my studies, but I knew that um, in a stressful environment, uh, it wouldn't be feasible um, for me to sit through exams or uh, lectures even um, with my current state. Tourette's is a neurodevelopmental problem. By that, it means that it develops in childhood. And uh, usually the presenting symptoms that people first notice are either motor or vocal tics. And with motor tics, people have abnormal movements, okay, in the face, in the body. And with uh, vocal tics, they produce a sound such as grunting noises. So it's a motor and vocal tic problem. It starts in childhood, uh, four to six years old, gradually worsens. But for many people in their adolescence, it improves, goes away. But in this certain subgroup of patients, it persists. I believe it was late 2023 where I was hospitalized again for my Tourette's. And yeah, I think that was a, that was a very tough period for my family and I. Yeah, so I, I think uh, that, was, that was like the turning point for me to go and um, find out more about like deep brain stimulation. So deep brain stimulation, or DBS, um, is a uh, surgical procedure. It involves uh, implantation of a battery uh -huh, uh, in the body, and the battery is connected to two wires, and the wires are then implanted in the brain. So essentially, it's a pacemaker for the brain. There are guidelines, uh, international ones, that are available uh, that say which patients are suitable and which ones are not suitable for deep brain stimulation. So we uh, obviously um, match Samuel to those guidelines. So when I first met Samuel, you know, he, um, he came across as a very uh, intelligent, uh, creative uh, young man. You know, he had a great passion, which was for uh, photography. And, and when I met him and I spoke to him, one of the things he was telling me was that he, um, you know, this was one of his dreams was that he could um, take photographs uh, outside of Singapore. You know, he wanted to travel and go around the world to, to take photos. And one of the reasons why he could not do it was because of his uh, Tourette's. After evaluating his symptoms and, and looking at the treatment he's had, I realized you know, um, that he was actually an ideal candidate for, for DBS and that I could make his dream come true. Yeah, I, I really was really eager for, for this surgery. Yeah, I'm very thankful to Dr. Khan and, yeah, and, and, uh, and, his, and his team. Yeah, and I think Dr. Khan was there, was there with me uh, every step of the way. So I think there's something very important uh, I want to point out about the cause of Tourette's uh, syndrome. The Tourette's syndrome is a neurodevelopmental problem, like I mentioned earlier, meaning that it is something that occurs during the development of the brain and we are not sure of the exact cause for it. But the important thing is that this is not the result uh, of bad parenting or some kind of psychological problem with the child. It is really a disorder of the brain circuit. And I think this causes a lot of stigma sometimes for children and their families um, when Tourette's is, is discussed. I think, uh, I think my life has definitely changed for the better. I, I'm able to pursue my, my goals and my, my dreams without the fear of being pulled back by um, like an uncontrollable condition. So I, I think after my, my surgery, I've, I've shot for... I, I've done passion, both passion projects and, and paid projects. 
yeah, I think the general consensus that or the general response where I, that I get from the people I photograph when I when I tell them that I have Tourette's is, is that oh I oh I, I I didn't notice. Honestly, when I when I heard that I was I was taken aback, but at the same time I was I was like I was beaming. I was really really happy. Yeah. So I think what's next for me is yeah I definitely completing my university. But I, I think at the same time I, I I don't plan on stopping photography. Yeah, I, I think uh, it's yeah it's something that I enjoy doing. The world is your oyster, right? <laughs>